at the Jack Canfield's Breakthrough to Success Seminar and look who I got here, <laughs> Robert. Robert is a second hand of Jack. He's got a lot to tell you uh, about his book and also cover the eye hug, uh, the hug button. Oh, we hug a lot here. Oh my God, I felt so loved in this seminar and I highly recommend it to everyone. So Start with the eye hug button. Oh yeah, this eye hug this button. This yeah. is something that I created after my second year working with Jack. Okay. And I did it so that when I get home from Jack's training, that I can get the same amount of hugs as I get here. Because, like you said, the hugs here are so warm. They're so gentle. They're so nurturing. It's just such a beautiful place to be. So I come back year after year to get those hugs. And eye hug button allows me to get those kind of hugs when I'm at home too. So we share them with everyone who's here. That's really interesting concept. Robert because you know I get I think I get more hugs here than uh, my entire life. Uh, the first time I was here was 1997 and I got more hugs in one week than I had literally had in my entire life. Oh wow. And, um, my children were very young then and now they've grown up hugging and they wouldn't have done that if I hadn't been here. So it really is one of the wonderful parts of being here. You know because we get to connect on such a deep level. Yes it really is. Isn't it's it hug, amazing that hug, there's hug. 300 people here and we were strangers yes. three days ago, four days ago and now it feels like family. Yeah, yeah, so we just need that love and to be hugged. And so you you read in a book. Yes. And so can you tell us about this? I have a book called yes. Manifesting for Non-Gurus. Okay. And this is work that actually emerged from my work with Jack. <gasps> and okay. I'm the director of our Platinum Inner Circle program, which is a year-long program where people work with us to accelerate their progress towards their goals. And we meet four times a year. And my job is to make sure those people are reaching their goals faster than they otherwise could have. So what I noticed was that there were five different areas that I could focus on with them. And what I do with this book is I help people stay really clear about who they are. I help them stay really clear about what their intentions are and really clear about the feelings and emotions that they most want to be experiencing. Finally, helping them let go of attachments and then get into consistent action. And I find that when people do that, things happen magically. And that's why we call it manifesting. Wow, I could use that. That's for sure. <laughs> I need to get your coffee, don't I? What makes you come alive? What makes me come alive yes. is this work. It's being in this environment, doing this work, having the opportunity to work with Jack. As you know, being around this week, he is the absolute best. That's so true. I can vouch for that. To be with him as a member of the Transformational Leadership Council for the past six years, and even with a group of people like that who are the leaders in this field. Jack is the leader of leaders. And the opportunity to work with him, to be here, to work with this group of people, to see the changes, the breakthroughs that happen for people is really what lights me up. I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> you work long hours and here you are at the end of the day after 12 hours, 16 hour day and you still come alive, coming alive. I do. Alive. All you yes. have to do is ask the right question. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So you've energized me for this. Yeah. Oh, world. thank you. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> now, can you give me at least like whatever you want to share? How many success principles have you really applied in your life like that, that the Jack teaches? You know, I, I use the success principles book like my Bible. It's a resource to go to over and over again. I host calls with one of our groups every week where we go into one of those principles and they're all so valuable. So I think on some level I've really implemented all of them, but it's, it's like painting a bridge where you could go back to chapter one and go all the way through the book and then go back to chapter one again just because the content is so, so valuable. Yeah, you know what really resonates with me and I think I'm going to use it a lot because I'm this, I'm this blaming mode is the, can you tell us about this, take 100% responsibility. Principle number one. Yes. yes. <laughs> and it really is the principle that everything else is built on because if people want to make changes in their life, if they're not willing to take full responsibility for those changes happening, then realistically they're just never going to happen. So they can have the vision, they can have the mission, they can have the goals, they can even be taking action and working hard, but if they're not taking responsibility for those results, eventually it's going to come back to blaming and complaining. So that E plus R equals O formula, yes. the event plus event. our response to the event determines the outcome. 
it's the core of all of it. It's where it all starts and ends. Yes. I love Jack calls that the world is worlding. Uh -huh. It's doing what it does. It's the economy. It's the weather. It's the traffic. It's all the things that happen to us. It's the people around us and how they respond to what we do. Those are just the events and they keep happening. That's but right. But it's how we respond to uh -huh. those events. It's our. And that's yes. what we can really control. Um, when people really get that, yes. the change starts to happen ah, immediately. I'm so excited. <laughs> Last message to the people out there, embrace this work. There, in these environments, we realize that it's possible for there to truly be a shift in global consciousness, that the world can change. Exactly. And it all starts with each one of us individually being around this work, seeing what's possible, making the changes we want to make, and bringing other people in to join us. Wow, that's powerful, Robert. Thank you for joining us in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we look forward to meeting you in person soon. And big dreams still come true. Bye-bye. We can do it, you can do it too.